Good evening folks, 21st Century Caveman here. Hope everybody's safe, hope everybody's well. So let me just explain the title of the video then. Now, I live here in the UK and we're just starting to tentatively come out of lockdown. Restrictions have been eased and the economy is rubbing its very bleary red eyes and starting to awaken. Now, one of the many consequences of this has been the fact that significant restrictions have obviously been placed on travel. Businesses have either closed or shut down for good and raw materials and some services have simply dried up. Now being a very independent and a pretty resourceful person I like the challenge of having to overcome obstacles by trying to think outside of the box to resolve problems and also to save money. In particular I'm talking about waste disposal. Now I'm a great believer in recycling stuff and prior to the lockdown I was a frequent visitor at my local tip. Now in order to save money in the past I've also used a large hippo bag as a flexible skip to save me trash in the back of my car in order to negate me having to hire a very expensive skip. I've also um, in the past couple of years purchased a trailer which enabled me to make bigger clearances and dispose of more stuff and this paid for itself multiple times over in the short period of time I've had it. Now I've also gone to even greater lengths by digging a bloody great big hole in my back garden to dispose of rubble and an abundance of waste to save the cost of buying a skip even to the point where I've had a police helicopter ho hovering overhead due to this seemingly suspicious activity albeit very innocent. Now as viewers to my channel will know I've always got a project on the go and I've recently completed a man cave stroke workshop which has left me with a large accumulation of waste products. Then of course the lockdown um, came upon us and everything changed. So it was no longer possible to visit the recycling centre to dispose of rubbish because they closed down. And when they did start to gradually open there were significant restrictions on what you could take there, what you could dispose of how many people were allowed in a vehicle, you weren't allowed to go in a van or take a trailer. So clearly, you know, these restrictions were considerable and of course, very necessary. Now for those who were desperate enough, they had to endure many hours waiting in queues at local recycling centres. These queues were many miles long and some only found themselves to wait for all that time in these hellishly long queues to find that the uh, centres clo were closing down because of changes in business hours. So what do you do? Well look, the point of this video is this. There does come a point that sometimes you do need to compromise on your principles, swallow your pride and put your hand in your pocket. So for the first time ever I actually ordered a skip. It was an eight yard skip, it cost me just over 220 squids because basically I had no choice. Um, other than just to remain surrounded by waste, rubble and an accumulation of crap, basically. Now, the consequence of this has been that I do manage to dispose of all of my waste. I tidied up more than one property and paved the way for me to continue with my long list of forthcoming projects. In addition to this, I've also helped out family, friends and neighbours by offering them the opportunity to dispose of their rubbish and waste. And also this has generated some goodwill and helped to nurture and improve a greater community spirit. So the question I have to ask myself is this. Was it worth it? Was it worth over 220 squids? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. It was worth every penny. Thanks for watching.